it's done. Mullet. All right, that's it for me, fellas. Yeah, me too. You boys got no fight left in you. I could do this all night. Hey, relax. It's morning, tough guy. I'll see you next week, buddy. Yeah. Uh, I should be able to make it. Is Johnny gonna be back? I haven't seen him in a couple weeks. We'll see. Poor guy's up to his balls and missing persons reports. They actually think there's a serial kidnapper in this little town. Jesus. Well, better him than us, right guys? Yep, take it easy. Later. See ya. Are you? You mean any more goddamn obvious in there? You're like Norton and Rounders, for Christ's sake. I'm just saying, man, you could have walked away with me. Double what you have now. I come in every week and clean house. They're either going to think something is off or stop inviting me to the games, neither of which will put money in my hand. Be thankful, all right? It was a good night. For you? Maybe. I'm walking away with peanuts. Shut up. What? The breakfast? <sighs> Yeah, today, D. Got somewhere to be. Yeah? Like where? Has anyone ever told you you talk too much for your own good? Practically every day. Now come on, where? None of your goddamn business. Later. The dawn is breaking A light shining through You're barely waking And I'm tangled up in you
wait, Hell of a job, buddy. You seem to have real talent for this. Yeah, why don't you ask me if I give a shit, Nikki? I told you I'm done with this. I want out. I thought this shit was put to bed. I must not have heard you right. Yeah, you heard me just fine. You don't just get out, Chief. We tell you when you're done. Hi, sorry. I didn't see you sneak in. Can I get you anything, sir? No, he's fine, Tess. Okay. Thank you, though. You know what? I'm starving. What's on the menu? Okay, I'll grab you one. Be right back. There's something going on with this broad. She seems to like you. No. It'd be a shame if something were to happen to her because you didn't do your job. Almost a shame. I kind of like her. Maybe I'll hold on to her. You need to shut your fucking mouth, you know that? <laughs> you see it right there. You know what got you into this situation in the first place, Connor? Your unconscious habit of showing people your weaknesses? Here you go, sir. You wouldn't happen to be on the menu, would you, sweetheart? Tess, walk away. We can have all kinds of fun together. You're not going anywhere, Connor. I'll be seeing you soon. Maybe I'll be seeing you soon as well. Tess, I am so sorry. Really, it's fine. I'm used to dealing with creeps at this place. I know, but I brought this creep in here. Honestly, it's okay. Well, I have to get back to work. I'll okay. see you tomorrow. I'll be here. Pretty girl, wouldn't you say? Is everything all right, honey? I saw that guy grab you. Yeah, just some guy Connor was with. You sure? Yeah, something seemed off about the whole thing, though. The guy said something like, Connor isn't going anywhere. Probably just some jerk off trying to flex some muscle. You know, boys, always gotta show up in front of a pretty girl. Shut up. Seriously, though, Connor, he's cute. He comes in here every day during your shift. I'm surprised he didn't put that guy through the window. I know, like I said, something just seemed off. Well, since you've taken, you tell her. He can come in here during my shift anytime he wants. I'll be sure to do that. Later. Where are you off to? Oh, Luke's taking me to Antonio's tonight. I gotta go home and get ready. Oh, fancy. Have fun. Hey. Oh. First time to meet you, I could I be wrong? I swear that I've known you all along. The conversation's honest, and our hearts are straight. So, wide awake and wishful, I had a dream. Saw a thousand miles of highway. You and me, no one's trying to stop this. They can see you're my thing. If you're gone, and I'm here. I should meet you, meet you. If you're lost, but you fall, I'm beneath. Chicken Parm in the Valley, right? <laughs> Are you okay? The whole night you seemed a little off. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, how do you mean off? I don't know, just on edge. Any guy is going to be on edge when he's with a girl as beautiful as you. Luke, 
it's been six months. I think you moved past the cheesy line. How is that even cheesy? I, I, I think you're just not used to being complimented. Come on. This is romantic first date loop talking. No, I'm serious. You know, I could speak in front of a thousand people. Uh, I could be at the final table of the World Series of Poker. I could even tell my boss to go screw himself without hesitating or breaking a sweat. But when it comes to you, I'm just a little kid who's had his card stolen by the most amazing girl in the world. I think you're amazing too. And these past six months have been great. But I just want you to be yourself around me, you know? That's the whole point though, you know? I feel like this is the real me, and you bring out the best in me. And you see a cheesy line, but it's just how I truly feel. And I know that you're the girl that I want to spend the rest of my life with. Luke, I'm still really young, and I don't know what I want right now. I'm nowhere near ready to take the next step. I haven't even finished college. I still work for tips, getting hit on every night at the bar. I'm just, I'm not at a point right now in my life where I can even think about this. Yeah. No, you're right. I'm too young for that. And, um, that was just romantic loop talking, you know? good time tonight. Yeah, me too. You're one of the good guys, Luke. Thanks. I still want to be your girl. Thanks. Good night, lover boy. Good night. Well, are you going to say something or just sit there like a moron? Good to see you too, pup. What do you want, Connor? Good to see you're still keeping up with the time. Well, I ain't dead yet. Now, what are you doing here? I just came to see how you were doing. It's been a while since I've came to visit. Son, this isn't a visit. Let me tell you something. I love your mother to death, but every time we're together, I feel like I'm being interrogated. So you know what I do? Every day, I sit on this rock hard bench and read this shitty paper. Do you know why I do that? <laughs> to get away from Ma? No, I love your Ma. I sit every day on this shitty bench reading this shitty paper, hoping my worthless, nomadic, vagabond of a son will come by and save me from All right, son. Pop, I get it. Now, tell me what you need so I can get back to keeping up with civilization. I don't need anything. I just... I just came to say goodbye. You disappear for six months, and the day you decide to show your face, it's to say goodbye? I'm sorry, all right? It's, it's complicated. It, it's always complicated, son. Nothing is ever simple in our line of work. Listen to me. Pretty soon you're going to have to decide between what you want and what you can't live without. This isn't you, is it? What? The kidnappings, the disappearances. No. Don't you dare lie to me. I just said it isn't. Well, whoever this guy is, is one depraved bastard, leaving these twisted drawings in the victim's own blood. Yeah, well, I wouldn't worry about it too much, Pop. I'm sure our town's finest are on top of it. What do I tell your mother? And your brother? You back? Yeah, graduated in three years. We missed you at the ceremony. Tell them I'm all right. I'll be back in touch as soon as I can. Take care of yourself, son. 
Deep soup up. And quit reading that garbage, will you? Get yourself a, a tablet or something, all right? I ain't that old. Tess, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Um, I'm at work right now, I can't talk. I, uh, I really want to see you tonight. Um, yeah, okay. I get out like a 10. Okay, I'll be there. And I'll walk you home. And we can get something to eat? Alright, sounds good. Alright, love you. I love you too. Bye. Hey. You sit down right there, I'll be right uh, I'm not staying, Tess. I, uh, I was hoping... Are you sure? Are you sure? Can we go somewhere more private? It'll only take a minute. Yeah, right through here. So, what's up? Listen, I, uh, I've got a lot of things I want to say to you. But, um... I've done a lot of things in my life, made a lot of mistakes, done a lot of things that I regret, but those are just things that I've done and not who I am, and you kind of helped me realize that. Uh, Let me finish before you say anything else. I, uh, you're in danger if I'm around. That guy in here yesterday, he wasn't just some asshole. He's actually a very dangerous man, okay? So I need to get out of here as far away as possible. When are you leaving? Tonight. So, I want you to go to the cops, and I want you to give them this, okay? Tell them there's been a threat against your life, give them that, they'll know what to do with it, okay? I can't go right now, but after work I'll go. My boyfriend Luke is picking me up. Luke? Yeah. Luke O'Brien? Yeah, do you guys know each other? Yeah. It's been a while, but he's a good kid. Listen, uh, just promise me you'll go right after work, okay? Okay, I promise. Okay, I gotta go, so. Connor, please be careful. I will. Connor. Hey, little brother. What are you doing here? You know, I've been getting that a lot lately. You mind if I come in? Yeah. Sure, come in. Mom and Dad are out. Ah, the infamous date night. Are they still fighting like cats and dogs? That's putting it lightly. Yeah, yeah. I heard you graduated. Congratulations. I would have probably tried to come if I knew. Would you? Well, listen, you're probably wondering why I'm here, so I'm just gonna come out with it. I, uh, I may have gotten into a little bit of trouble, and I kind of may have dragged your girlfriend into it as well. What the hell are you talking about? Hi. Hi, what's up? Coming in early, I see. Uh, first off, you can go to TV. Might as well get paid if I'm going to be bored. Well, that's good because Luke wants to take me out tonight, and now I can go home and get ready. Look at that. I'm a lifesaver. Thanks, CD. I don't believe you. You're, you're, you're gone for months, and, and you decide to come back and, and screw up my life? Luke, I'm... Save it! Just get the hell out of here!
Fuck. Luke. Luke. Oh, shit. Luke, are you alright? Talk to me, buddy. Talk. just this visions I've been having lately. There's this guy following Tess and uh, I don't know if it's real or it's my imagination. I, I see through his eyes. What did you see? It's some guy wearing a, a ski mask. Uh, he, he's got gloves and shit, uh, a fucking gun, uh, but Tess is at work till 10 so I must be imagining it. What if it was a, a premonition? What? Listen, having a brother with your talents, I've looked this shit up, okay? I'll just call her. God, if you lay a finger on her, you're a fucking dead man, you understand? I will go to the police, I will bring down your organization brick by brick, and just when you think it's all over, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hunt you down, and I'm gonna fucking kill you myself. Shouldn't be too hard. After all, I do have a talent for these things, don't I? What? I'm gonna go check in the Alright. Twisted drawings for the victims on the Pretty girl, wouldn't you say? 